Okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. One day you're gonna need a job. We're talking real job. Real cool job. Real dough. Money. With a side of fun and lots of toys. So I got two words for you. Oil and gas industry. Okay, that's four words. Listen up. Fact. The industry has been around for over 150 years. Fact. The oil and gas industry is one of the biggest in Canada. Fact. It takes energy to run our world. And oil and gas is a critical part of the world's energy mix. Without it, we'd be up the creek. Now, speaking of rivers, you can think of this industry as having three streams. Upstream, midstream, downstream. Lots of options, lots of choices, lots of variety. That should float your boat. And yours, and yours. And yours, and yours, own yours. Let's start upstream, at the beginning. You have to find the oil and gas first. Think exploration. And there are all kinds of ways to find oil and gas. Upstream activities happen out here, and over here, and way out here, offshore. And once you've found the oil and gas, you need to get to it. You'll use conventional or unconventional recovery techniques depending on where the oil and gas is. With conventional recovery, oil and gas is easy to drill and produce. Simple, right? Yes! The only problem is reserves of oil and gas are getting harder to access. So, it's becoming trickier to produce. Which is where unconventional technology comes in. For oil sands, this includes digging then separating the oil from the sand it's stuck to. Or, when the oil is so hard it won't budge, you use steam-assisted gravity drainage, or SAG-D, steaming the oil so it's soft enough to flow. If the oil and gas is in the rock, you fracture or crack the rock to make the oil and gas flow. Fracturing is done way underground, like up to two, three kilometers below. That's almost as tall as four CN towers. And if you're looking offshore, well, you're drilling way down, under the water. And that's just the innovation happening today. Tomorrow? Who knows? See? There are tons of jobs upstream because there is a lot of oil and gas in Canada. And that oil and gas needs to go somewhere. Bam! Midstream! Midstream gets it from where we find it to where we want it. When you're talking midstream, you're talking pipelines. Did you know three million barrels of crude oil are transported every day on Canadian pipelines? That's the equivalent of 200 Olympic swimming pools. Midstream also includes storage, refining, and processing. Where we turn crude oil into gasoline, and propane, and jet fuel, and hundreds of other fuels and products. Lots of opportunities that take a lot of people and a lot of brain power to turn Earth into energy. Downstream. Downstream gets the product to where it needs to be. Like here. Or here. Or here. Yum. That's how we use fuel. But the industry fuels more than that. Your iPod isn't made out of fairy dust. Most plastics are made with petroleum products. We use oil and gas to make stuff. Lots of stuff. Stuff you're sitting on. Stuff you're wearing. Stuff you're holding in your hand right now. Without petroleum products, no. Uh, one industry, three streams. Did you know that the oil and gas industry is continually developing cool new technologies? Technologies that are renowned throughout the world. This is an environment of constant innovation. Finding ways to do things better, more safely, more sustainably, with greater reliability and less impact on the environment. This is an environment for people who like positive change. It's rarely the same day twice. In fact, the whole industry is constantly changing, energizing, exhilarating, i.e. not boring. You gotta think about it someday. A job, a career, 
money. Whoever you are, whatever you love to do, whatever you're good at, there's a choice that's right for you in the oil and gas industry. What's that? Opportunity, innovation, technology. Open the door. Open the door.